In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Google map of your choice to a WordPress website without using a plugin. It's real easy, real quick, real simple. Let's go. The first thing we need to do is get our Google map. So head over to Google maps and uh, find the area that you want to share. If it's a business or some other point of interest that's already on Google Maps, that's fine. You can just click on it like that. That's the McDonald's right there. Or if you want to share a map of an area that doesn't have a location or a point of interest, just simply add a pin by clicking and holding. And it should, he says, there we go, add a pin. And you can you can share that as well. What we're looking for is the share button, which for a pin is down here, this little share button. And for a location like this McDonald's, it's over on the left-hand side. Both give you the same option. So let's share a map of this McDonald's. I'm gonna click on the share, and what I want is embed a map. Now there's a couple of quick options here. You can select the size on the left-hand side, you may, for example, want a custom size of 800 by 600, which is a pretty good size. Or, yeah, there's some predetermined sizes and who knows how big they are. So probably you're going to want to set your own uh, dimensions in these boxes so that it fits nicely within your website. Once you've set the size, all you need to do is copy this HTML. And that's now in my clipboard. And then head over to your WordPress website. I've got this demo one here that I'm playing around with. Go to the page or post that you want to add the map and then edit. Let's add it at the top here. I'm gonna click on the plus. Then what I wanna do is add a HTML block. So I'm just typing HTML, it's called custom HTML. That's the one we want. And then I'm just gonna paste that code into there. Click update, click view post. What a beautiful map. So. Looks like 800 is actually a little bit too wide for my post. Interesting. So let's just see how wide the elements are on my website. Okay, that is 720. Not a problem. Let's go back and adjust it. We can go back in here, type in 720. I'll leave the height as it is. Copy the HTML again. And then we can edit by going into edit post. Let's take out that code, paste in the new one, click update, and then view. Hey, where'd it go? Hmm. Try again. And hmm, now it's a little bit too short. Oh well, it's near enough. I guess maybe 740 might be it. Play around with it until it fits your website nicely. That'd be my advice. That's what I'm going to do now for the rest of the afternoon by the look of it. Let's try 740. It's because that element I measured has got a shadow. Gotta love my tutorials. I like to keep it real, yeah. No perfectionism here. That's near enough. Maybe add another 10 or 20 pixels. I'm calling that done. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you got your Google map added all okay. Let me know how it went in the comments. I do love to hear from you and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Until next time. Good luck with your sights.